Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to do a quick upgrade on my 30 gallon Craftsman air compressor. We're gonna add this drain line right here to make it easier to drain the compressor before each use or after each use. So this air compressor originally came with this drain valve right here, which is kind of a pain in the ass, plus the O-ring has deteriorated over the last 16 or 17 years that I've had this thing. I had one of these laying around, so I decided to thread that in, but it's still kind of a pain every time you want to use it because you got to kneel down here, you got to screw that thing to drain it out, plus it drains to the floor and you can't really get a pan under there. So the new, that new one I'm gonna install is gonna divert it to the side so you can actually get to it and turn it and then drain it. So here's what happens when you don't drain your tank after each use. I'm really guilty of not doing that very often. And you can see all the moisture down here that builds up that I'm just letting go onto the floor right now. So the reason why you wanna drain your tank all the time is to actually keep your air dry. Plus you don't want that standing water sitting in the bottom of your tank and rusting out your tank. Eventually, it might get pinholes or your tank might erupt or explode. You gotta be careful with that for safety purposes to drain the tank before and after each use. So this new one is actually just gonna relocate that drain valve so you can actually get to it from the outside. So you'll be able to drain it into a tub or maybe add a hose on it and drain it to the outside away from the compressor or away from your floor. So the reason why I chose this kit was that it was a simple device and it was only $15, it's all over Amazon. If you wanna see the one I got, I'll have a link down in the description. But they make three different types that you can get. You get this one, which is a simple relocation and a ball valve. They actually make an automatic one that basically uses the air pressure up top. Every time you turn it on or the compressor kicks on and off, it actually squirts out the water or the air for like a second to drain it. And that one's like $15. The only thing with that is you have to run a line Usually you want to run a hard line from the bottom to the top. It comes with like a plastic or a rubber line. A lot of people complain that that line fails eventually. The best way to use that one is to use a hard copper line or an aluminum line. The third option, which is like 30 bucks, is an electronic one that is set to go off like every 30 minutes or every hour to drain it. If you're in a shop or somewhere where you use air all day, that's a good option. For an at-home 30 gallon, it's probably not an, a good option to use, especially since it'll be purging your tank every 30 minutes or an hour. And we're gonna do, we're gonna remove this old valve, clean out the threads, clean out any rust and anything that you find at the bottom here, and then get it ready for the new valve. So my particular valve here is a 14, usually it's like a 14 or a 15 millimeter nut. We'll get this open. You can see on mine, there's a bunch of sludge and everything in there. I'm gonna get this thing right here and get it in there and just clean it out. Good measure, I'm gonna turn it up and see if it, anything drips out. It comes as a quarter inch NPT fitting. If you have a 3 8 they actually have a fitting that comes with it to adapt to a 3 8 so I don't need that for my compressor. It also comes with a roll of Teflon tape, plus it already has an orange sealant on the threads. For my purposes, I'm actually gonna be using my Loctite 545 that's designed for pneumatic and hydraulic systems instead of the Teflon. Uh, it works much better, for my opinion, than the Teflon, so I'm gonna use this along with the seal that's already on here. Once you get a hand tight, you get a 17 millimeter wrench, which is the size of this thing, and just tighten it down as much as it goes. You also wanna make sure this hose is oriented in the direction that you want it to come out of the compressor. On mine, I want it to come out down here by the wheels. It's perfect. I'm gonna end up tie wrapping it right here to this hole. Then I'll have access to it from an easy to reach location without bending over and reaching down here. So now we got it upright. I wanna be able to just get a zip tie, zip tie it down so it stays in spot right here. You might wanna get two zip ties just to make sure it doesn't roll and, and spin. One other upgrade you wanna consider is maybe putting one of these little nipples right here on the end with a coupler. 
onto here so that way you could put a hose like a rubber hose and just extend it out to wherever you need to to drain it that way you don't end up draining this all over the floor so that's another option that you have if you have one of these nipples laying around or you go pick up one it might be better just to pick up a nipple with a female in so you just thread it right in instead of using a coupler so after loading the compressor up, I noticed a small leak between the ball valve and the joint right here, and also down there where the elbow goes in. So make sure you tighten the fitting and the hose is all down nice and tight. I also made this L bracket while I was at it just to have a more secure mount so I don't damage anything with those tie wraps. There's another minor custom adjustment which makes this thing work a lot better. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on this quick upgrade video on my 30 gallon compressor. This thing, I've had it since 2003 and it's been a workhorse. I've had to do a bunch of maintenance to it. If you saw my other videos, I had to fix the capacitors and a few other things to get it running consistently all the time. But it's been a workhorse for me and I love it and it's good for all my little small projects. If you guys found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to your channel to follow me on all my different DIY projects, go ahead and subscribe to your channel, like this video. For all these different projects, if I can do it, you guys can do it. That's why I make these DIY videos to give you you guys some confidence so you do it yourself. I want to thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time.